Hi y'all, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today to join me in one of our favorite activities, a Torah haul. So this is, at the time of filming, the very beginning of April, and I have just received all 20-something of these items, so they should all still be available, with two exceptions that I just checked when I was uh, prepping for this video. So I will still tell you about those, but I'm not going to bother trying them on if they're unavailable. For size reference, I am on a weight loss journey with Manjaro, so I am teetering between the size 6 or 30 in bottoms and the size 5 in uh, some items if they're roomy or really skirted trapeze a-line shaped or sometimes baby doll shaped my bust is a 50c or a 48d typically occasionally a 46 double d just depending on the fit of the bra and what my body is doing on that particular day so i can usually fit a size 5 across my shoulders my bust and my rib cage, my back, but the sixes tend to be more comfortable. I'm really bottom heavy, especially, so I've had a paniculectomy now a couple years ago, so I have a little bit of a prednisone pooch, but I don't have a long apron belly anymore, which is wonderful, and I will talk about that soon in an upcoming video. So, but what a lot of times you can't see from the front is that I do have ample hips, but my booty is rather large and that makes it difficult to fit into certain pants at Torrid, certain skirts and dresses if they're really straight cut, and especially the darn jeans. I've complained before in videos that I just cannot fit into Torrid jeans. I am trying a pair in today's video. In fact, I'm gonna get them out of the way right off the bat here, and I will be sure to give you my honest feedback. The first outfit today happens to be what I'm wearing. This sweater comes from the Vegan Cashmere line that Torrid put out across the fall and winter. This one is between a winter and spring weight. It is a little bit thick. I'm not sure I would want to wear it when it gets too terribly warm, but for spring it's great. So you'll see when I stand up, this sweater is really close fitting to the body. Torrid designed it that way, you can see in the stock photos. So I went ahead and picked this up in a six, um, and it is in fact close fitting to the body. I'm very glad that I did not size down. I picked this up in the bright green color because it was irresistible. As I said, I have several vegan cashmere sweaters already that have been washed and worn throughout the winter and all washed really splendidly. Along with that, I'm going to show you the dreaded tour jeans. I am wearing them now. I picked up, let me see if I get this right, the Super Stretch Bombshell Skinny Jean in the color Nova. If that's not right, I'll try to get it listed on the screen. I picked these up in a size 30 short. I am wearing skinny jeans. Um, I don't mind skinny jeans, but I don't think this pair is the best looking on me. Although I have to say, I'm pleased that they don't have a huge gape around the ankle. The short is a perfect length for me. I'm just a little bit under 5'4". Uh, the bombshell, I believe, is known for being high-waisted, and I'm glad they are because they come up perfectly fine in the front, but they still don't make it quite all the way around my booty shelf, which probably is because they're not designed for someone my size. I have no idea why I can wear so many 6 and 5 tops and other pants, skirts, and dresses with Torrid, but their jeans are just a no-go and their jean shirts, their denim shirt was a no-go as well as you will see here in a little bit. So I will show you the sweater, then I will show you the jeans. They are squeezing the hell out of my stomach right now. They have a little bit of a stretch panel inside that I don't find very comfortable. It's supposed to be like a tummy smoothing panel and I find them completely ineffective. Not to mention like, let us do what we want with our tummies. If I want to wear shapewear, I'll wear shapewear, and if I don't, I don't need that added to my jeans. It's in a place that, I don't know, it's just a little awkward to me. Maybe some people like it, but the waist is where I'm usually a little smaller in proportion, and the waist of these is just squeezing me. They were a chore to put on. They looked like they were about this big when I got them out of the package. Um, in fact, with these long nails that I've got on Today, they were really hard to get up and get fastened because they are just so, so tight. So at least it's progress that I've gotten to a place where I can fit 
a pair of jeans like literally fit them but I will not be keeping these um, even with my weight loss journey I think when the time comes to try jeans again I will reassess that for now let's get a look at this outfit and move on to the next Since I mentioned the shirt, I figured I might as well go ahead and whip it out and get this over with too. This is the Taylor Medium Wash Denim Button Down Shirt. It's currently 40% off, making it $33.54. Um, I picked this up in the size 6. In the size 2, Tord says this measures 30 inches from shoulder to hem. On me, it's definitely a little bit longer than that. Tord graduates their sizing, including the lengths, um, as you get bigger. so. You get longer sleeves, bigger sleeves, you get longer hems, um, which is great. In this case, it didn't do me any good because this isn't even close to fitting over my hips or my booty. So I figured that would be the case. Um, Button-up shirts are the other sore spot for me with Torrid, or at least the area where I have a bit of a challenge. However, since they're smaller cut, they look really good tucked in, in my opinion, and, and fit how I really like. So. This shirt is quite a bit smaller than even my Harper shirts, but I still think this will look cute tucked in with a skirt, maybe worn with a vest or a jacket over top. Sometimes this shirt is available in a different wash. Uh, again, this one is the medium wash, and hopefully I put it on screen, but I also just saw that the jeans I previously tried on, the color is not Nova, the color is Tides, T-I-D-E-S. I have no idea where I got Nova from, but... Maybe it was because they were a no-go. Ah, uh, okay, let's take a look at this shirt and I'll move on to the next item. In that last clip with the uh, tailored denim shirt and still wearing the bombshell skinny jeans, I decided to go ahead and show you the Pointel Fringe Open Vest. Again, this is 40% off today, making it $33.54, and I picked it up in the size 6. So a lot of the reviewers uh, 
early on noted that this vest ran a little bit small and heeding that wisdom I picked up the six knowing that usually with vests I need to size down like my denim vests um, if they're cropped length I like to size down so I did go ahead and pick up the six I'm glad that I did if you are larger in the back or the bust and like a true size six in the top this might be a little close fitting for you or it may not uh, close all the way in front and there are no closures for this it is just an open vest um, but do be aware if you're bigger in this area the vest won't come as far across as it did on me so in the size 2 toward says this is 21 inches in length I'd say that's pretty close um, to the length of the bottom of the vest minus the fringe and that with the fringe this is probably more like 23 inches or so because I think I'm about 22 or 23 to the very top of my hip and the fringe came just a little over the curve of my hip all right let's move on to the next okay the next item up is this cute washable gauze crochet lace trim tank in a lovely black and white gingham we have this very pretty kind of a crochet or macrame type trimming up here across the top and tracing along the straps to the back the back of this top has a little panel of smocking to help with the comfort and this little bow tie here is functional so on me this okay so I sized down to a five for this after trying on I have a similar top in a different kind of fabric and I tried it on initially in the six being worried about the hips and it was really roomy and the shoulders were falling off so I did size down to a five when I ordered this one I'm glad I did um, even with my bottom heavy build this still has a little bit of room in the body which is great because I'm still wearing these torrid jeans and they are giving me a muffin top from hell when I sit down nonetheless uh, they're still a little bit snug across the hip and the booty so when I sit it, it comes really close to pulling the seams but not not quite anything I need to worry about if you decide to pick this up and you're a little more ample in the bosom the shoulder or the back um, like a true size six I think you should get your regular size but if you're between probably size down because these are still really close to falling off of me oh and what I was going to mention about this tie this tie is functional so I could actually I could cinch it in all the way if I wanted but I could cinch this in just a little bit to help keep the straps on my shoulders in some of my previous videos I mentioned a company called half T or half tees I will of course be sure to link them in the description box they sell sleeveless short sleeve long sleeve elbow length tees that only come down to just below the bust so they're a little more comfortable if you're layering in warm weather or you just don't like the feel of being bulky something like that would be really comfortable with this style of top um, as would a jean vest or a jean jacket or a hooded sweatshirt I think you could do a lot style wise with this at the time of filming all the sizes are still available it does not have any reviews yet with the 40 percent off that Tord is doing today it comes in at 29.94 Tord says the length in the size 2 is 28 inches i'd say maybe this is 29 or 30 inches but it certainly is not long and probably would not be something that a lot of the larger ladies are going to enjoy unless you are comfortable freeing the belly which i highly recommend but I know that's not a reality for everyone blessedly this is machine washable and machine dryable so at least they have us there all right let's take a quick look the next shirt up is this little cutie here this super soft crew neck tool tiered sleeve tee with the 40% off tour is currently running this comes in at 23.94 
and it's available in this black color as well as a very pretty soft ballet pink color they call bleached mauve in both sizes unfortunately the six is currently sold out although i did pick this up in a six and i'm probably going to send it back and order a five so if you keep an eye on Tord's website this probably will pop back up into stock at least briefly if it's something you're interested in so the cool things about this shirt number one it's the super soft material which is really just one of my favorites it feels like a modal jersey i have not actually looked at the composite to see if that's what it is but it's even better today than it was when they first started bringing out the super soft it washes and wears better it doesn't get as nubby did everybody see kitty jumping over here they're such a distraction, but I sure love them. Um, and then the sleeve has this three layered tool trimming on it that is super cute. Uh, for me and my type of build, I wish the top was a little narrower. So the sleeve, let me see if I can get it right. Move this hair. The sleeve starts here on me, which is actually where my shoulder starts to slope down just a little. And I wish it was just a half inch or an inch farther in so that you would really get the full impact of this shoulder. Um, also in this size, it's really gaping in the underarm, which is not a big deal. Fun fact, I filmed all of these try-ons yesterday and they were absolute trash because of some things going on with my video quality and my background and I looked pissed off and all kinds of things <laughs> happening, but um, I was wearing a really loud colored bra yesterday, which was informational because I could see what all showed through the fabric, but I noticed when I turned that you could see this swath of like neon pink and purple paisley, and it was just super obvious. If I kept this, um, I would just wear black or nude personally under there and it wouldn't be a big deal that's certainly not a deal breaker to me i like this tee for layering with jeans again not this pair because it's giving me such a muffin top but i think it would also be really cute with skirts or with a suit vest over it with the little puff sleeves sticking out i do a lot of video calls for work and i think it would be nice on video so i mentioned the body of this is a little closer fitting i think it's one of their i think they consider this a classic fit it's very narrow and, and column like in the size two towards says this is 28 inches in length on me it's probably closer to 31 if not a little bit more so while it does cling to the body just a little bit it is a better length than some of the other shirts if that is of concern for you i think that's all i had to share with you about this particular shirt so why don't we take a quick look and move on to the next item Okay friends, the next top I'm trying on is the Crinkle Gauze Flutter Sleeve Top. This is in the color Dew, which is a nice creamy color of white. With the 40% off today, makes this top $27.54, which I think is pretty fair for what you get. I, I quite like this top. I picked this up in a size 6 because it had no reviews, and I know sometimes blouses can be tricky for me. So this particular pullover is a little roomy, but I think it's the kind of roomy that's intended to be here in the fit. When I sit down and everything spreads out wide as I'll get out, the shirt is still comfortable, but I'm not absolutely swimming in it. This one is more of a tunic length, which I think a lot of us will appreciate. And in this size two, Tord says this is 30 inches. I would guess this to be 33-ish. So if you have a little apron belly you want to cover or flatter, this might be a good one for you. And even though it's a little roomy, it has that crinkle texture to the fabric that helps kind of keep this falling straight instead of 
tinting out. You can probably see here that it has these little, this little panel added that has the little threaded detail trimming. With that, let's take a quick look and move on to the next item. I should have mentioned that this is one of the tops that was really transparent when I had on my more colorful bra yesterday. So it's less obvious in the areas where there's this kind of double layering, but on the side here you could definitely see, and I'm sure you could see, the demarcation of where my jeans hit my waist. That does not bother me whatsoever, but if that is something you're sensitive to, uh, keep in mind that you will probably want to wear flush colored undergarments or a tank or a cami underneath. However, I do still highly recommend this blouse. It is very comfortable and very cute. Let's move on to the next. This top is the Baby Doll Shally Square Neck Tank with 40% off toward is running at the time of filming. The price is $21.54 and I picked this up in the size Five. Um, I was one of the first people to pick this up the day it was released and there were no reviews yet. However, I could see that it had what appeared to be the same cut as the baby doll dresses I tried on in my previous Torrid video. And in fact, it is the same pattern, just quite a bit shorter. So you can tell from the stock photos that this is intended to have a more fitted bust and then a body that flows away gently, very gauzy, very folksy and I think it's absolutely darling. I really like the way this falls on the body. Because of my smaller size on top, I did pick up the five. It fits great, it fits really well. The straps are not falling off. Even though they're close, the straps are adjustable, but this is quite a bit shorter of a length than a lot of the other tops Tord puts out. They say in the size two, it measures from 28 to 30 inches. I think it's a little shorter in the front than in the back. And even though on me it might be an inch or two longer, I don't think it's terribly long um, because a lot of my belly was removed with my paniculectomy, but I think you can still see a little bit of my prednisone pooch sticking out the bottom of the shirt when I stand up, which is not a big deal to me, but again, do be advised. Um, this is another top that I wore out the other day with one of those half tees under it and it just was the cutest ever. I also have a little cropped, closer fitting sweatshirt cardigan, like a zip up sweatshirt that's cropped and kind of closer fitting. I think that'll look super cute with this type of shirt and some jeans and sandals. So this comes in several different colors and right now all the sizes are available. This particular pattern, if you are interested in picking this up, is called Line Airbrush Floral cloud dancer. I don't know what all that's supposed to mean except that cloud dancer is usually one of their pale uh, grayish white colors so they must be calling this line airbrush floral the design that's going across. I have no idea where they came up with some of these colors. But all right let's take a look at this girl and move on to the next item. Okay y'all, I'm going to show you two items again together. The first is this flouncy short ruffle kimono. I picked this up in the size 6 with 40% off today. It is $35.94. Still available in the size 6 and the size 5. Actually it's available in all the sizes. In the size 2, this measures 31 inches in length. As to be expected on me in this size, it is a couple inches longer than that. This has a really cute detail uh, flocking, kind of 
kind of like a clip dot, but it's like a geometric clip in the fabric. So it just has a little bit of a texture as well as a print to it with the crochet trimming all around the edge. Um, this also has really, really full big sleeves that are tiered. Um, I complain a lot about sleeves coming past my wrist and overwhelming my hand and this does not do that because they're actually supposed to be a little bit cropped. So for that I'm appreciative. Um, I will not be keeping this because of the fabric. I am very tactile sensitive to different fabrics especially on my upper body where I have some neuropathy. So I don't like how stiff and a little crunchy this feels. I don't think most people would notice but the combination of the like clip and the chiffon and the big sleeves it's just too much so when i have it on i feel a little like <laughs> overstimulated I, I really am not a fan of big sleeves and if i had realized they were this full i wouldn't have bothered to pick it up i know better this barely fits across my hip so if you are between sizes i don't necessarily recommend sizing down unless it doesn't matter to you that it doesn't close in the bottom even the top is not like a huge wrap around. I it's it's barely meeting. Um, underneath this, I am wearing a tiered baby doll tank. I did not look up the details at this particular moment, but it is full length. Um, I picked this up in a size five, and I kind of regret getting the size five, even though the top fits nice and fitted the way I would want, and the rib texture looks really cute. The tiers are a little closer fitting to the body than I would like for them to be and they don't flow the way they look like they're supposed to. This has two tiers you'll see when I stand up and the first one at the waist is stretchy. It's It has like an elastic thread that's been used on that tier. The one that goes around my hip and booty and, and belly, the widest part of me, is a fixed seam. It doesn't stretch at all, which doesn't make much sense to me. Um, I'd also note that in the white, of course, this is pretty sheer. When I had on my colorful bra yesterday, you could see straight through it, but it is really nice and high under the arm if that bothers you and you don't want your little side rolls or side chub hanging out. I am going to send mine back and exchange it for a size six because I like the cut and the length. I just wouldn't recommend sizing down unless you want it to be a little more snug. Let's take a quick look. I will show you the kimono and then pull that off and show you the undershirt. Hey y'all, I'm back with the next item. I want to apologize too if the lighting is going in and out. I actually got my act together and started filming at a decent time today, <laughs> but there is a storm rolling through in the Midwest, actually a pretty severe storm. So, so this item is favorite tunic, super soft v-neck side slit tee. Um, I've already mentioned that I'm a big fan of the super soft fabric, especially the more recent super softs. Um, this one is... 95% round, 5% spandex. That is different than the blend they used to use with the 40% off that Torrid is running today. This is $21.54. I believe I actually picked this up um, briefly on a deeper sale than that. I've kind of been eyeballing, thinking about getting a couple of new super soft tees, and I had not tried this particular cut yet. I have a bunch of the older ones that have like a shirt tail hem and are much closer fitted to the body, especially the more you wash and dry them, they really shrink down, and I don't think this fabric does that nearly as bad. I will say though, this material is really floppy and clingy, so if you don't like that feeling or that look, do be advised, but they're so comfortable. I think I can forgive however it looks. I do like the elbow sleeves. I like that on me, this is about 
probably 34 to 35 inches in length and it has nice deep side slits for comfort. If you are attempting to cover a longer belly, I think that this would work for you, but it would cling where you could see it from this side because you can definitely see mine. And I'm sure when my belly was bigger, it would have been even more prominent. However, this is a nice long tunic length tee. These are great for layering. I should also have noted this comes in a good dozen colors or so and they have mixed availability. This particular one is called Olivine and it is currently available in all sizes including the 6 and the 5. I did pick this up in a 6 because of the cling factor and I'm glad that I did not size down. Now let's take a look. The next item here is in one of my favorite colors Torrid has put out so far this spring. They call it Smoke Green. If you will recall, if you've seen my recent videos, I picked up a pair of trousers in a stripe that has smoke green and I love them. So this is the Chiffon Smocked Pintuck Flutter Short Sleeve Blouse with the 40% off today. That makes this $33.54. It is available in several colors. I picked this up in a size 6 based on reviews and the fact that it's a non-stretch blouse. And I'm very glad I picked this up in a 6. It has a really large armhole where you can see my kind of underarm and the side of my bra. This also is really transparent. Now as far as fit, this is about 33 inches long, maybe 32. And it has two layers of chiffon. The base layer is a little more snug fitting so when I sit down I felt like it was pulling on the seam and I was like, uh oh, this is not good. And then I realized that the over layer is roomy. It's just that under layer that's pulling a little. So hopefully that's not an issue for me, but it is something to keep in mind. I originally envisioned that I might wear this tucked in with trousers and get the matching color blazer, but I haven't done that yet. And if I did, I would need to alter it anyway because all of my blazers need altered. So that's the story for another day. Yeah, Torrid says in the size 2, this is about 28 inches in length, I would guess. Probably it's about 31 or 32 at the longest point. It has a really cute high neck, and in the back it has a little pearl button that you have to fasten to get it on or off. Um, however, I was able to slip it over my head. Uh, Alright, let's take a quick look and move on to the next item. Well, I put on my Rainbow Bright t-shirt to show you how very cute this is. And just since last night, it appears to be sold out. I cannot find it in the app, but I will be able to find it from the website when I go through and do my editing to put the links down in the description box. So even if this is sold out, you can still have access to the page and keep checking back and see if it's in stock. I'm honestly not sure if I'm keeping mine. It is extremely cute, but it's more of like a classic fit tee than an oversized so even though I'm sure there are plenty of people who would say they really prefer the closer fitting tee on me than the oversized one I just don't like them not for chilling and relaxing and layering I want a big old huge oversized tee for that especially because these typically shrink in the dryer in my experience so here is a quick look at how cute this is And I'm terribly sorry that this appears to not be available. Maybe I shouldn't even include it, but I did want you to know that Tord keeps cranking out these tees, so be sure to check the new releases regularly if you want to snap these up while they're still available. Alrighty, we have here another beautiful green. This is called the Georgette Pleated Tank with 40% off. It is $27.54. I picked this up in a size 6. I wish I had picked it up in a size 5. 
It is 28 inches in length in a size 2. With this being graduated in sizing, I would say it's probably 32 inches in length. Um, it feels like possibly more, but I think it's just because it's so full, it's deceiving. So partly I wish I sized down, but partly it's also just the design of this shirt, which I understand. This crinkle up top feels kind of like a plisé type pant, um, but it releases in the bottom half and it's really, really flowy and nice. This would look great for work. It is semi-sheer, but like with my flesh colored bra on today, I don't think you can particularly tell. The issue is that it is just so very, very, very flowy away from the body. It does not, in my opinion, give you the pregnant maternity look because it does hang, but there is a lot of full material um, that could look a little funny if you, depending on if you layered it and, and maybe with a jacket or a sweater over top. Okay, y'all, I have completely lost my light today due to the storms rolling in. So I'm going to call it quits for here for this video try on, but I do have another 10 or so things to try on when there are not storm sirens blaring outside. So this is to be continued. As always, links will be in the description box below to both uh, things that I tried on and things that I've mentioned. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post my next video. Hope you have a wonderful week. See you again soon.